is still going to be considered an elite athlete and he's going to be uh, named in places, especially with half pipe conversations for years to come at this point, especially for generations to come in the sport. But Team USA tweeting the ride of a lifetime and that's exactly what he's had just because he's made five Olympic appearances, three gold medals, and they all happen Italy 2006, Vancouver 2010 and then Pyeongchang in 2018. So the stats are there and the stats do not lie when when it comes to his performances over the years. So when it comes to the statement that he made after the uh, placing at the Beijing Olympics fourth place, he said, I had never done that combination of tricks before and just put it down to win. That's probably my legacy performance. People on social media definitely rooting for him either way it goes despite the placing. He says one person says leaving behind a fantastic legacy, a legendary career that generations will seek to emulate. Another person saying the fact that dude was even still out there competing for a medal at the age of 35 speaks to his greatness. Speaking of his age at 35, the oldest half pipe rider in Olympic history, he says that he just hopes that his legacy is just something that shows generations to come that, you know, they can make whatever happened. Ben and Sarah. He's amazing. And that video of him seeing his family, yeah. I mean, when they do that, it just gets me every time. Well, and it's especially emotional because they can't be with their family. I, know. I mean, it's always going to be emotional, but especially yeah. this year. Ruby, thank you.